Now, your weather alert forecast. Good evening on 3 News Now. Chief Meteorologist Jennifer Zeppel with this latest weather update for 3NewsNow.com. The severe weather threat is going to continue across our area, but mainly to the area south of I-80. So again, Omaha Metro not included in the severe thunderstorm watch. Areas like Nebraska City, Clorinda, Maryville, Falls City, Beatrice already been dealing with severe storms throughout the afternoon, and that threat will continue until late tonight. Now, we do still have a chance. Slight risk for severe storm development here in Omaha. I'm looking at gusty winds, heavy rainfall, and possibly Possibly some small hail is the biggest concerns, but potential for tornado development mainly to the south of us between Maryville and also around the Fall City area. So looking at the storm threat continues mainly over parts of Missouri, southwestern Iowa into northwestern Missouri. Again, southeastern Nebraska. This is the zone that could see the highest potential for severe storms, and we've already seen a lot of activity. The next round starts building over Kansas, lifting northeastward, hitting the Beatrice area, probably close to about 830 in the evening. That all travels northeastward. So increases our chances for strong and maybe even some isolated severe storms. Again, I think some of the biggest concerns we'll see will be heavy downpours of rain, and we've already seen significant rainfall in the last 24 to 36 hours, more than three inches reported here in the Omaha Metro. Same thing across a large portion of the area, so that will be a concern. Small hail, gusty winds will also continue, but it winds down pretty quickly. After midnight, system starts exiting off to the east of us, moving up to the north, and it will keep a few showers around during the early morning hours with temperatures in the upper 50s, but as we head into the afternoon, might see a little break in the cloud cover, but it's still going to be overcast and highs will be in the upper 60s to near 70 degrees. Even though we could see a few showers around, the overall severe weather threat is expected to be on the low side. So as we look at the extended forecast here, we do finally start warming things up, but we do keep a chance for some showers around here, at least for the next 24, 48 hours. Again, a very minimal chance and the overall threat for severe storms really not going to be an issue for us for Wednesday going into Thursday. Dry it out for Friday. Plenty of sunshine around, a high of 80 degrees. Then as we head into the weekend, still a chance for some scattered showers around. High of 82 Saturday. We're down to about 80 as a weak front passes through on Sunday. Some sunshine, a little drier day for us. By early next week, though, we could see a decent chance for some strong storms coming our way, especially on Monday with a high of 80.